क्लास लेवन अकोटी न्यूमरिकल प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन प्रेजेड बै एडक्सी डाट काम इन दिस वीडियो वे आर् गोइंग टू प्रोवैड ट्रयल बेन्स अंड रेक्टिफिकेशन आफ एर प्रॉब्लम सेवेंटी सोल्यूशन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज एस फॉलोस रेक्टिफाई द फॉलोइंग एरर्स A. Depreciation provided on machinery 4000 rupees was posted as 400 rupees. B. Bad debts written off 5000 rupees were posted as 6000 rupees. C. Discount allowed to a debtor 100 rupees on receiving cash from him was posted as 60 rupees. D. Goods withdrawn by proprietor for personal use 800 rupees were posted as 300 rupees. E. Bill receivable for two thousand rupees received from a debtor was posted as three thousand rupees. Before we proceed with the analysis of these errors, let's first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited, and any decrease should be credited. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be credited. and any decrease should be debited in addition to this also remember that if the error is due to short debit then we should debit the corresponding account if the error is due to the short credit then we should credit the corresponding account so the error rectification entry will be on the same side as the side on which the error is committed so if the error is on the debit side then we should enter the error rectification entry on the same side that is debit side If the error is on the credit side then we should enter the error rectification entry on the same side that is credit side so remember that whenever there is a short we enter the rectification entry on the same side similarly if the error is due to excess debit then we should credit the corresponding account if the error is due to the excess credit then we should debit the corresponding account So the error rectification entry will be on the other side of the side on which the error is committed. So if the error is on the debit side, then we should enter the error rectification entry on the other side, that is credit side. If the error is on the credit side, we should enter the error rectification entry on the other side, that is debit side. So remember that whenever there is excess, we should enter the rectification entry on the other side. With this information at our disposal. Let's now proceed with the analysis of each of the errors in the given problem. Let's start with the analysis of the first error. In this case, four thousand rupees of depreciation provided on machinery was wrongly posted as four hundred rupees. Let's first analyze the original transaction. As you know, depreciation is an operating expense. In this transaction, the machinery is deprecated. In other words, we have to post an operating expense in this transaction. So we should debit the depreciation account with four thousand rupees. At the same time as the machine is depreciated the worth of the machinery will be decreasing so the asset value is decreasing in this case so we should create the machinery account with 4000 rupees however instead of debiting the depreciation account with 4000 rupees it was debited with 400 rupees also instead of creating the machinery account with 4000 rupees it was created with 400 rupees from 4000 rupees if you subtract 400 rupees we get 3600 rupees this is the amount that was not debited to the depreciation account in other words in case of depreciation account there is 3600 rupees of short debit so we should debit the depreciation account with this 3600 rupees this amount was also not credited to the machinery account in other words in case of machinery account there is 3600 rupees of short credit So we should create the machinery account with these three thousand and six hundred rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the title as journal recordings to rectify the errors. I repeat, this is not just journal; it is journal recordings to rectify the errors. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, ledger folio. debit amount in rupees and credit amount in rupees as the date is not given let's just write the serial number in the date column 
Let us now enter depreciation account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us now write the debit amount of 3600 rupees in the debit amount column. That completes the recording of the debit entry. Let us now record the credit entry. As you know, the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin. They also start with 2. Let us now write machinery account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of 3600 rupees in the credit amount column. That completes the recording of the credit entry. Let us now enter the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being depreciation provided on machinery, error rectification recording was wrongly posted as 400 rupees instead of 4000 rupees. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 5000 rupees of bad debts written off were wrongly posted as 6000 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. As you know, bad debts are administrative expenses. In this transaction, the business is writing off the bad debts. In other words, the business is incurring bad debts administrative expenses in this transaction. So, we have to post the administrative expenses in this transaction. So, we should debit the bad debts account with 5000 rupees. At the same time, as these bad debts represents the amount that is considered as not recoverable from the debtors, the debtors asset of the business will be decreasing. So, we should create the debtors account with 5000 rupees. However, instead of debiting the bad debts account with 5000 rupees, it was debited with 6000 rupees. Also, instead of creating the debtors account with 5000 rupees, it was created with 6000 rupees. From 6000 rupees, if you subtract 5000 rupees, we get 1000 rupees. This is the amount that was debited in excess to the bad debts account. As this is excess debit, we should create the bad debts account with this 1000 rupees. Similarly, this amount was created in excess to the debtors account. As this is excess credit, we should debit the debtors account with these 1000 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the debtors account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 1000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the bad debts account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 1000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being bad debts written off, error rectification recording was posted as 6000 rupees instead of 5000 rupees. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, there was a 100 rupees of discount allowed to a debtor on receiving cash from him, but it was posted as 60 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, there is a discount allowed to a debtor. As you know, the discount allowed is an expense for the business. So, we should debit the discount allowed account with 100 rupees. At the same time, as this discount is allowed to the debtor, this implies that the debtor would pay 100 rupees less than what he actually has to pay. So, the debtor asset of the business will be decreasing. So, we should create the debtor's account with 100 rupees. However, instead of debiting the discount allowed account with 100 rupees, it was debited with 60 rupees. Also, instead of creating the debtor's account with 100 rupees, it was created with 60 rupees. From 100 rupees, if you subtract 60 rupees, we get 40 rupees. This is the amount that was not debited to discount allowed account. In other words, in case of discount allowed account, there is 40 rupees of short debit. So, we should debit the discount allowed account with these 40 rupees. This amount was also not created to the debtor's account. In other words, in case of debtor's account, there is 40 rupees of short credit. So, we should create the debtor's account with these 40 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write discount allowed account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. 
Let's then write the debit amount of 40 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let's write the debtor's account as the credit entry. Let's then write the credit amount of 40 rupees in the credit amount column. Let's then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being discount allowed to debtors, error rectification recording was wrongly posted as 60 rupees instead of 100 rupees. Let's now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's now take up the next error. In this case, 800 rupees of goods withdrawn by the proprietor for personal use were posted as 300 rupees. Let's first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, the proprietor is withdrawing goods for personal use. As you know, the drawings reduce the capital and we record all the drawings in the drawings account. So we should debit the drawings account with 800 rupees. At the same time, as there are goods withdrawn in this case, goods available with the business will be decreasing. As you know, when the goods are purchased, we debit the purchases account. These purchased goods are drawn by the proprietor for personal use. In other words, this is reducing the goods available in the purchases account. So we should create the purchases account with 800 rupees. Also, be aware that in some cases, these goods may be taken from the available stock of goods. In this case, we should create the stock account. Anyway, this is just for your information. We assume that the goods are withdrawn from the purchases account in this case. So now coming back to our problem, instead of debiting the drawings account with 800 rupees, it was debited with 300 rupees. Also, instead of creating the purchases account with 800 rupees, it was created with 300 rupees. From 800 rupees, if you subtract 300 rupees, we get 500 rupees. This is the amount that was not debited to the drawings account. In other words, in case of drawings account, there is 500 rupees of short debit. So we should debit the drawings account with these 500 rupees. This amount was also not created to the purchases account. In other words, in case of purchases account, there is 500 rupees of short credit. So we should create the purchases account with these 500 rupees. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write drawings account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 500 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the purchases account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 500 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being goods withdrawn by proprietor for personal use. Error rectification recording was wrongly posted as 300 rupees instead of 800 rupees. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 2000 rupees of bills receivable from a debtor was posted as 3000 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. So, in this transaction, there is a bills receivable received from the debtor. Bills receivable are assets for the business. You will learn more about the bills receivable in the bill of exchange chapter. We have done a small refresher on this when we were discussing bank reconciliation statement related problems. If you have not watched those videos and not familiar with the concept of bills receivable, for now just assume that it is very similar to a check or demand draft which can be converted to cash at a later point of time. Just to be clear, it is not a check but it is something similar to a check. So instead of paying cash, the debtor is paying in the form of bills receivable. So we need to debit the bills receivable account with 2000 rupees. At the same time, as the debtor has paid his dues in the form of bills receivable, the debtor asset of the business will be decreasing in this transaction. So we should create the debtor's account with 2000 rupees. However, instead of debiting the bills receivable account with 2000 rupees, it was debited with 3000 rupees. Also, instead of creating the debtor's account with 2000 rupees, it was created with 3000 rupees. From 3000 rupees, if you subtract 2000 rupees, we get 1000 rupees. This is the amount that was debited in excess to the bills receivable account. So, we should create the bills receivable account with this 1000 rupees. This amount was also created in excess to the debtor's account. So, we should debit the debtor's account with this 1000 rupees. 
With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write debtor's account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 1000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record bills receivable account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 1000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being bills receivable from debtors, error rectification regarding was wrongly posted as 3000 rupees instead of 2000 rupees. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries, and that is the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.